we're gonna do a one box hunt today I already weighed these up there was one heavy one it was a 226.3 it's marked in orange there were no enders so let's see what's inside oh we might get a silver in our first roll 1967 from Philadelphia cool Wow, we are at our heavy roll, 226.3. Let's see if anything's inside. Oh, yes, there will be something hiding in there. And it is a 1964 Philadelphia. Cool. Oh, we're going to get our third silver. 1968 Denver. Cool. There's a dark one in there. Let's see. Oh, it's a silver. 1968 from Denver. Cool. There's something smooth edged in there. Oh my God, it is actually a barber. Not a barber, I am sorry. That is actually a walking liberty. I was thinking Barbie when I saw so smooth. So sorry, that is slick. I would have never guessed there was a 90% silver in there, but it is wore down and I do not see a date. That is so cool. Would have never expected that, but I will look at that more at the wrap up. Cool. Got a dark one in there. Oh wow, that is a 1965. It looks like it's a Philly. Well, that is a dirty one, but dirty silver is silver. 1965, cool. All right, that was a pretty interesting hunt. I want to apologize for getting my coins mixed up there for a second, but when I saw it pop, when I seen that edge, and then I saw how slick it was, Barber just jumped in my head. So glad we caught that one right away. But I believe what we have here is a 1918 San Francisco Walking Liberty. There were only 10,282,000 of these made. So Rob doesn't have it listed as a semi key date. He only has key dates listed. So I don't know if anything over 10 million would be considered a semi key date, but it is a cool find. We also have a 1964, a 65 and a 67. These three are from Philadelphia and then we did find two 1968 Denver's and we're going to take a better look at this under the scope it's a really cool find so when you look at it on the on the screen you can definitely see that that is an 8 and it looks like a 1 it's a 19 in front of it because they did not make these in the 1800s they started bidding them in 1916 and it's not a three because San Francisco did not mint a uh, walking liberty in 1938. So it's either a two or a one, and it definitely looks like a one. But it is a cool find. And it is definitely from San Francisco because, boom, there is the S. That is cool that there is a mint mark on it, and we do have a partial date. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Is it a 1918? Or could it be something else? I want to thank everyone for watching my latest video. And good luck on your next hunt.